I'm Anil Kumar and here is a practice question on inverse trigonometric functions. The question is find exact value of sine of sine inverse 3 by 5 minus cos inverse minus 4 over 5, right? So let us write down sine inverse 3 over 5 as let's say a. In that case sine a will be equal to 3 over 5. Now sine a is 3 over 5 and what we know is that a should be within the interval minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2, correct? Since sine a is positive, we are talking about the value being in which quadrant? Quadrant 1, correct? Since sine a is positive. Now we can find what cos a is by making our triangle with angle A. So angle A with sine A as 3 over 5 means a positive over hypotenuse is given to us. Adjacent side will be 5 square minus 3 square square root. So the triangle is 3, 4, 5. And that gives you the value of cos A, right? So the cos A value is equals to 4 over 5. Now let's work with the minus cos inverse value and find the other angle. So let cos inverse minus 4 over 5 be equal to b. So what is cos b equal to? Cos b is minus 4 over 5. Now b should be within the interval 0 to pi. Since b is negative, that is to say, we have already found that A is in quadrant 1, but since B is negative, we are, we know that B is in quadrant 2, right? However, in quadrant 2, sine is going to be positive, correct? So, in this particular triangle, minus 4, 5, we can use the same triangle, right? The only thing is this lies now in this quadrant, which is quadrant 2. The value of sine B should be equal to 3 over 5, right? 3 over 5. And it is going to be positive, correct? Let me re redraw this triangle, triangle B, no harm. Since those values, this is only one time we have this type of example. 4 over 5 means adjacent side over hypotenuse. So that will be 3, right? So we have found both values of sine A, cos A, sine B, cos B. And now we can find the exact value of the expression itself. The expression can be written as this expression is sine of sine inverse 3 over 5 minus cos inverse minus 4 over 5. Correct? Now we can write this as sine of A minus B. And that is sine A cos B minus cos A sine B, right? Let's substitute the values. Sine A is 3 over 5. Cos B is minus 4 over 5. Cos A is 4 over 5. And sine B is 3 over 5, right? Substituting these values and then simplifying, we get uh, the denominator is 25. Let's write common denominator is 25. Minus 12 and this is minus 12 and that gives you minus 24 over 25 as the answer. So that is how you can calculate this. I hope the concept is clear. Feel free to post your questions and suggestions. Thanks for watching and all the best.